Today we're comparing two fun screen printing techniques, puff and high density. These methods can both be used to add a little more dimension to your next prints. Puff Additive is a Classisol ink additive that expands and creates a puffed effect with a soft, round edge. High density prints, on the other hand, produce raised prints with defined, sharp edges and are created using a thicker stencil. To print with puff additive, first mix your ink, following the instructions on the container. After your ink is mixed, we can add it to the screen. I'm using a low mesh count screen, which will produce a more dramatic puff than if I were using a higher mesh count. We need a thick ink deposit in order for the puff chemical reaction to work properly. I'm using a 60 durometer blade to get a good amount of ink through the screen. I print the design, then I like to lift the screen, flood it, and print it one more time, and then cure it. Your print should be nice and puffy after the final cure. High density printing requires a thicker stencil and a low mesh count. So we'll need to add multiple layers of emulsion in order to get the proper effect on the screen. After mixing high density additive to the ink, we can add the ink to the screen and print. First, flood the screen to push the ink down into the mesh. Then, lower the screen and print. I like to keep the print stroke low and consistent for the right effect. Flash your ink for about 5 seconds, or just until barely dry to the touch. The extra thick ink deposit may take a little longer to flash than usual. The number of passes per print will vary, but I like to do 2 or 3 passes, a quick flash, and then 2 more passes. Unlike puff prints, you should be able to see the height created with a thick stencil before the final cure. Whether you're a seasoned screen printing expert or just a beginner, it's worth exploring these techniques and learning how to incorporate them into your projects.